720. Gotta get up. Come on, it's Thursday. It's not Saturday. That's right. It's not a holiday. It is 20 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is April 9th, 2015, and you are listening to WOCA The Source, broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall in Ocala, Florida, right outside of the WOCA Commissary, less affectionately known as the Food Court. Uh Uh-huh. 64 degrees here. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Larry. How you doing over there? Good, good, good. How are you? Good. We got a movie buzz going good. on today. It's it's yeah, National Adjective Day. Don't forget. I know. I know. You have to use. It's so pretty a lot. outside. It is so very pretty, bluish yeah. and and an yeah. exquisite and and, 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 and comfortable in here. <laughs> you are so vibrant this morning. <laughs> thank you. I mean, very, very. Thank you. It's it's uh, it's the day you're supposed to use more adjectives than you need. So of course. <laughs> On this voluptuous looking day. Voluptuous. <laughs> wow. It'll become voluptuous later on when the traffic increases outside the window. Yes, it will. When when the beautiful traffic... I, I'm going to have a hard time with this all day. Big Joe will be extremely happy. <laughs> Big Joe. All right, uh, 64 degrees, I tell you that. Oh, so our t- th- we've got the movie thing happening in Ocala, as you know, with the international... Film Fe- the Silver Springs International Film Festival, uh, big big buzz in town. It's a kind of exciting thing to have, and we have an actor coming on in uh, just a few minutes. Actually, his, his name is Cal Penn. I know you know who he is. Uh-huh. He is known for his role portraying Dr. Lawrence Cutner on the TV show House. Yep. He's also the character Kumar Patel in the Harold and Kumar film series, yep. uh, one of which is Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle, Yes, <laughs> which is already 11 years old, believe it or not. You want to wow. feel old? That's, that movie's already 11 years he old. He still looks young. He does, yeah. I mean, well, he was, well, he was a kid in, in, the, in the White Castle movie, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Looks pretty funny, you said? Uh, he looks what? Oh, the movie looks yeah, funny. He yeah, said it looks no, funny. he looks handsome, but the movie looks funny. Yeah, uh, he was. Uh, his mom is, uh, or was. I don't, I don't know if she still does this, but a fragrance evaluator for a perfume company. Wow, kind of cool. I, I could cool. never handle that. A fragrance I, I, evaluator. Well, I mean, that must mean you sniff people. perfumes, right? Right, exactly. Pe- people, oh, people. <laughs> you would. That, oh, I was, you my would nose... like that though. If 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 you had to sniff women that were wearing. Perfume. But I wouldn't do the. Okay, maybe that's true. But I wouldn't do the job well. Yeah. Because my nose would be all of a sudden like, oh, God, <laughs> holy mark, I can't tell one from the other. It's just... How how would you clean your nostrils then? I mean, when... <laughs> right. <laughs> because when people clean your, do food like tasting your and wine yeah, tasting, yeah, yeah. you take a sip and drink some water and take another sip. <laughs> so, how do you do it for sniffing? So Cal Penn will be with us at 7.35. He's got a new uh, movie he wants to talk about called the, the Sisterhood of Night. Yep. The Sisterhood of Night. So... Uh, We'll find out what that's about in just a few minutes. How come all these famous guys only can be with us for 10 minutes? Although, yeah, although yesterday, I take that back, because yesterday we had Alan Alda's wife, Arlene. Yeah. She stayed with us the whole 25 minutes. She was so gracious. Such a wonderful woman. Do you think we can like trick Cal into staying the whole half hour? We probably could. <laughs> no, no, he can't. If he's got other ga- other radio stations he Well, has we to could talk give to. him a challenge and say the longer you're on, the more adjectives you have to come up with for the <laughs> listeners. It is National Adjective Day. Yes. All right. Well, if he is able to stay with us, then we won't do a second part in the first half hour. However, if not, then I do have a serious one. Uh, today, you know, the vets will be here at 9.05. Veterans yep. News is today. Uh, and there was a story this morning from the Associated Press that says nothing has changed at the VA a year after the scandal. Uh, even in Jacksonville, Florida, the report states that there were... Wow. Hold on, I'll find it. The, the one in Jacksonville I want to tell you about. Gosh. Uh, that VA scandal, I mean, I thought the, the, you know, the White House was going to take care of it right away. That's what they said. They well, were going to anyway, clean it up. I, I'll, I'll read it to you, if, if we can. I, I doubt that we'll be able to get this guy to stay longer than he's scheduled to be with us. But yeah. Cal Penn. Cal yep. Penn. And then, and then we'll, uh, I, I expect we'll be talking about the, the VA scandal. And, and how nothing has changed after the scandal is really the, the discussion. So. Yep. And then I'll, I'll, I'll heap that article. And, and uh, I, I know sometimes the guys from the Veterans News come in here and they have lots of like social things to talk about. But I thought I would ask, because I get the feeling, listening to what they talk about, that Ocala is the exception to this. And I don't know, because I'm not a vet and nor do I ever go to the VA. Uh-huh. Obviously, but uh, but they. I remember when Hank first started doing Veterans News, which is now probably eleven years ago. Yes, he, he started doing it about a year after I started doing this. So. Right. 
So I feel like I remember there was lots of complaints coming from Hank. Hank Hank Holt doesn't. What, what's the expression called? Doesn't hold any punches. Is, right. that, is that the pull expression? Pull any punches. Doesn't pull any. Yes. Doesn't pull, pull any punches. Pull any. Yes. It's an adjective thing. But any, anyway, so I mean, he would say it like it is, tell it like it is, and, and and then he started to give us good news about how it's it was changing. The wait times were less. So maybe mm-hmm. Ocala has like this great record, and that's kind of one thing I now I don't usually engage in conversation on the vet show. I mean, usually I just kind of sit back and, and work as producer. Right. Um, but. Um, I, I will ask that question. I think I just I'm just curious if if we have maybe an outstanding uh, exception to what this article is saying is the rule. Yeah, and so. ne- and next week uh, the vet show will be on an hour. Doctor Knapp will be here, right, and right. Uh, maybe they will uh, well, be see, able to address thing. that further. I mean, how know? many of the clinics are actually having a, a, a weekly show? Not yeah. to mention the fact that they will come in on a, on a public broadcast, and mm-hmm. you know, I know it's a private radio station, but it's a public broadcast. Right, exactly. All right, so anyway, so CalPen, then we'll talk about the VA, and then at 8.35 we have News Bites. That's where we uh, simply... Say, I always skip over the, the Galen segment. I save that for last. I know, I know. That's, you know, everybody waits for that, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh, news, you know. <laughs> news Bites is where we read the news. Veterans News at 9.05. Uh, Brett Hobel at 9.50. He is a 15-year veteran in the fitness industry. Mm-hmm. Um Let's see. The Twenty Minute Body is the book he's going to talk about that he wrote. Twenty minutes, twenty days, twenty inches. Yeah, right. he, he was one of the trainers. Oh, that's the right. Loser. He's with the Biggest Loser. I yeah. knew. I knew there was a celebrity thing connected to him. Yeah. He helps the Victoria's Secret supermodel. Uh, now you loved that that job too. A perfume sniffer and a. Yeah, but Victoria's I wouldn't do the Secret job well. Super. <laughs> I would be offering them saltines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Rod Eccles is coming on, or Eccles. I don't know how to say his name, but he's the host of a, the Rod Eccles Show. Yep. The coolest, most politically incorrect, conservative black man on the planet. I know. That's, that's, that's what it says moniker. in his. That's what it says. Yeah. He's been with us before, correct? Yeah, he has. Right. He's pretty much fun. He wants to talk to us about the news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and by the way, the, this story about this police officer that shot the black man in the back, was it in Georgia? Where was that? South Carolina? I can't recall the state. I'm sorry. I really do think race was an issue with that one. I think that guy did have racist attitudes. I mean, why yeah. would he shoot somebody in the back like that? That was horrible. That was very horrible. Just crazy. Very horrible. He must have had a meltdown or something. Uh, Dale, Dale Ryan out. at 1035. So so when Ryan Eccles comes on, I'm going to tell him that's my thought on that. And I don't say it because I'm white and I have to kind of take that attitude. I, right. I, you don't take an attitude. No. I, I, I thought that Zimmerman was wrong, too. Exactly. I didn't think the guy in Ferguson was wrong, though. No. I thought he really was attacked. But yes. anyway, those are my opinions. Dale Ryan at 10.35. He's an author and an artist and an advocate for finding dogs' homes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she is. She. You, you know, you have to read that carefully. I know. Because if, if, if you think there's an apostrophe after the, word, after the letter J. Right. Finding dogs' homes. Like, okay. Oh, there's a dog's <laughs> home right there. That's right. Exactly. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a dog's home right there. <laughs> Uh, the Painted Pilgrim is the name of Dale Ryan's book, an adventure story for young readers. But she's also talking about pet adoption. And yeah. Dr. Wendy Trainer is a social psychologist, a happiness expert. I love that. That sounds like she's sad. See, when I think, <laughs> you know what I am? I'm a happiness expert. Well, so was Robin Williams, but he was sad. Yeah, there you go. So, I don't know. Uh, I- go. Identity shift is what uh, she wants to talk about. Yep. Fun with Joe today is more trivia questions about movies. I have, okay. I'll tell you the plot of a movie. You guys will have to tell me the name of the movie as we uh, enter into our second day of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. And today is National Adjective Day. The point is you're supposed to use an abundance of adjectives. Yep. Cleverly placed descriptive adjectives. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this. So I have 100 Exquisite adjectives to choose from. I'm going to tell you some of them. We do- oh, do- cool. And I don't even know many of them. Most of them. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. The mayor of North Charleston, South Carolina, takes action after a white cop fatally shot an unarmed black man in the back. The incident caught on video. We have already ordered an additional 150 body cameras so that every officer that's on the street in uniform will have a body camera. Mayor Keith Summey, the officer was fired.